first foreign country you ever visited okay? first foreign country oh. <laughs> hi guys <laughs> welcome back to the channel happy to have you guys back all my returning subscribers thank you so much if you're a new subscriber oh thanks for dropping by if you find my content interesting that borders around fashion lifestyle faith and you see anything interesting and you feel like oh you want to subscribe this button is on the side yeah please feel free thank you i appreciate your subscription yeah all right so today's video i want to do a first time tag. i want to do a first time tag q and a guys yeah so i have the questions here before me they're actually first time first time questions on life experiences guys yeah so i'll just take the questions i'm sure there's a first time at um at everything you've done in life here yeah. first time you uh, moved out of your home first time you did something there's always that first time yeah <laughs> to you get old that leave this world there's always a first time at something that particular thing yeah so that's what i'm doing today guys yeah so let's flash back <laughs> memory lane let's see um what my first time is at some of these things yeah all right Let's get into the video, guys. Okay, guys. So let's get into the question. So because <laughs> these questions are quite funny here. Yeah? So tell us about the first social media app you first opened. Hmm. My first social media app I first opened would be Facebook. Yes, that was when Facebook was still reigning. I think that was thousand, year two thousand. Thousand. In 1990, something I can't even remember, anyways. <laughs> but that was my first Facebook, uh, that was my first social media app, Facebook, and I was so crazy like about it every minute, every second. I'm, I'm this social media kind of person, I have this love hate relationship for social media guys, <laughs> yeah. So, Facebook was like my first, and I was literally on that app day and night day and night like it was fun until i got tired <laughs> i can't get tired of things easily <laughs> and then i just said oh relax and then i started slowing down gradually yeah so that's that but my first social media app, that's the first social media app i opened guys tell me about the first app you open when you wake up in the morning it's you version i think i won't like i won't like it's you version my devotional app that's the first app i open in the morning and afterwards i pray and afterwards i can now it's during my break time i won't have all the work that i have time to all my free moments yeah in the evenings after work i have time to check on facebook instagram youtube and all yeah guys it doesn't mean i don't love you guys so <laughs> i'm just being honest guys yeah so my youtube i love i love uh, checking my youtube most times when i'm free so that when i see um comments i can easily quickly reply because when i'm not free i'll just flip through the comment and you know <laughs> i'll be able to reply satisfactorily yes yeah, so that's why i don't try to even open my uh, any other app in the morning especially those ones that i have to respond chat chat back yeah i don't do that it's my devotional I, I open in first guys you you version my first job ever would be with i love like you see the way i sounded here guys it was um, a media job with expose with lola i was like okay uh, first would have been nyc yeah with ministry of housing but then it was just nyc but first job that was paid yeah that's the question that's it was with Exposé with Lola on STV. Or it was a media, like a recording interview kind of um, job. I was handling um, a, a segment of her show, Exposé with Lola show. And then I remember then, you know, we, we became close, me and her. You know, and then she would give me some parts of production to handle myself and the production guys. We record edits, 
you know, and then I'll take those steps to STB, you know, to submit for airplay, and then I'll run around also for marketing to some of those companies that will advertise on her show. And I was feeling like I love the job, guys. I won't lie to you. <laughs> and then I remembered uh, when I first you know came on TV, it was her, and then my colleagues in school, like my classmates, saw me, and they were like, Ah, if I was so on TV, like you know, <laughs> you know why it is now. No, I really love that job, guys. Yeah, and that was where I fell in love with media, everything media generally, you know. And yeah, she wasn't paying me so much, but then at least she was keeping body and soul together now. <laughs> yeah, that was my first job ever, guys, and I loved it. Honestly, I loved it. If I'm given the chance, I would love to do things in media, you know, liter literally. Like, <laughs> yeah, gosh. All right, guys, so that's like my first experience. Job. First movie I ever saw, uh, that would be Titanic. I can't forget Lila. <laughs> Titanic, Facebook, ah, wish I would make and remember Facebook. That would be Robert Kiyosaki. I reached that port, that, but then I didn't even read the book. I remember it was just in all over the place, and I'm like, let me just pick up this book here. Yeah, so reached that port. That first concert I ever attended. <laughs> I can't remember any. Oh yeah, yeah, Cyprus. That would be in school. Her first year in school in Cyprus, I remember they did the welcome bash for all the new um, students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Two Face was on ground. Oh, <laughs> I wish I still have a clip of that, guys. Yes, yes, that's the first concert ever, ever. Like, and after then, I don't think I've attended any that I remember. first time on a train. Ah, never been on a train, guys. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> never been on a train. First time on a ship. Never been on a ship. Just a plane only. And um, first time you met your love. First love. Ah, first love. That would be my husband. Man. My husband, I think my husband, my husband. That is like my first love. Because I don't think I've ever loved somebody so deeply. Like him. Yeah. And the first time ever that we met was... Uh, Oh yeah, was that? That's like eight years ago. Yep. If I traveled to Cyprus to Nigeria, out of Nigeria, yes, yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like eight years ago, guys. I can't remember the year, but like eight years back. Yeah, from this year that we are twenty twenty one. So that's like eight years back. And first time we met was at um, Ikeja. He lives in Ikeja, just the other side of the street where I lived then. Um, cause I was working with this real estate firm, you know, so I needed to get a place somewhere around there. Um, yeah, and then I just saw somebody in front of our gates that night, you know, and then this uncle was there, <laughs> you know, talking to one. I mean, no, he was waiting for his friend here at the gates there, cause his friend lives. We um, we share like um, the same. Um, the compound close by here, yeah, and then he was just by my gate waiting for her to come out of her own compound. And then I stepped out of my own compound, and then I'm seeing this uncle like, "Hi, hey, excuse me," and uh, you know, you know, guys, now <laughs> we just talked briefly, you know, and that was it. Me that I knew I was traveling, I didn't full mind whatever he was saying and telling me all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I knew he was kind of chasing me then, but my mind wasn't there because uh, my mind is, ah, uh, me, I'm traveling now too. <laughs> yeah, I might just find somebody else. So I didn't want to just, you know, tie him down, tie myself down. And that was it. Like, so that was the first time we ever met and that was the experience. First language. First language is my mother tongue, definitely now, yeah. My mother tongue, aura. Yep. Do you want me to speak aura? <laughs> Guys, I was, that's my first line. I still speak it. Yeah, just to my folks only, anyways. <laughs> so it's aura. I do one from Edo State. Okay, first plane ride you ever went on. First time, <laughs> first plane ride, guys. <laughs> my goodness, first plane ride would be. Ah, it was my friend. Yeah. Oh, shout out to my friend Tammy. <laughs> She was the first person that would make me go on a plane. Yep. And that was to Abuja. If I remember, yes. 
I remember she just called me up that afternoon, like, sure, it's going to Abuja. Am I interested? And all. I'm like, eh, you don't want to get cash and all that, you know? <laughs> and she's like, no, that she's going to get the tickets and all. And I will come back and say, ah, the next thing in my head is, what do I tell my folks? Like, my mom is jelly. Hey, gosh. And because my dad is always around, I'm like, ah, okay. I'll call you back and all, you know, and then, you know, I sat down there, laid down like the old, I'm like, eh, hey, I want to enter play like this one. <laughs> Guys, you know, the thought of it was what just made me like cook up one lie. And I'm like, oh yeah. And then I told my mom, yeah, my mom actually likes my friend, Tammy, so much, so much. Like, she feels, she feels like she's, you know, those kind of friends, you know, that your parents just feel comfortable, you know, having around you and all that. Yeah, and then I told my mom after cooking up the lie and all. <laughs> I hope my mom doesn't watch this video. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, okay, tell me if it's tell me. And voila. And that was it, guys. That was how I packed my baggages, packed my loads. <laughs> and we hit Abu Jami and tell me. Yeah. She actually, Tim is actually like, she's my best friend. Yeah. Like, one, one friend that I have. Okay, I'll get to first friend I ever had. <laughs> my first ever girlfriend would be Timmy. I was just talking about her initially, yeah, earlier on. <laughs> yeah, she was like my first ever girlfriend. And like, I can't forget her. Like, our, our, our meeting, our first meeting, the encounter, everything. She was this kind of friend, you know, that is so free spirited like me. You know, we kind of share a bit of stuff in common, yeah. And then I remembered being the boss coming back from NYC that year. Um, yeah, 2000, was it 19? Yeah, no, yeah, 2000. You know, and then I was in the boss, and then I'm looking at this lady, and then She's she was seated uh sorry she was seated behind me. I was looking at my phone and then she just I had some I saw somebody tap me and then I look back. I'm looking at this lady like what why the tap? And then she just she smiled and then she told me, What is your name? <laughs> you know, and then we got talking. She's like, You're beautiful, you know. I just that's the first time I get a compliment from a lady, you know, kind of I get that, but then like I felt different somehow. And then She's like, oh, she's coming back from school, blah, blah, blah. Like, well, can you just give me your number so that we'll talk more, you know? And I was just wondering, like, <laughs> so a lady can actually just approach you and be this, you know, direct and all, you know? So that was how we just got talking and we became friends. And, man, knitted friends since then. It's been, you know, <laughs> we've been friends, guys, yeah. She's one friend that I just like. Then is that kind of friend that she... She's doing anything. She wants you to be there. She wants to do something. You know, she wants to you to do the same thing. You know, that kind of friendship that just wants you to progress. That wants good for you and all. You know, so guys, that was my first girlfriend ever. Yeah, and our experience. Tell us about your first time ever that you had to leave home to live alone. Ah, first time ever would be. Yeah, when I went to school for my master's in Cyprus, yep, that's the first time ever that I had to leave my parents, leave everybody, my loved ones, and go to a strange land. <laughs> I'm going to live alone by myself, guys. It wasn't funny, you know, the distance and all. But then I coped. And, yeah, that was when I, I actually managed to grow, you know, and grow by myself. Yeah, because... I suffer small, but then <laughs> it was part of the journey and the fun, you know, and all for me. Yeah. So that's the first time ever. And after school, I still continued living alone. I'm like, ah, if you can live alone outside Nigeria, why can't you live alone back home? So after school, packed my bags, came back to Nigeria, packed my bags out of my folks' house in Lagos, and I went to Abuja to live all by myself again. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> First time I ever got drunk. Ah, that's NYC. <laughs> I can't forget those, those my friends. Hey, gosh. And then, you guys don't even believe it. Ask me what I got drunk on. 
uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's this drink then? Save. Ah, it is where <laughs> the drink is just like a uh, palm wine, like this. <laughs> well, if I remember, I'll tell you guys. Uh, and we were just drinking, drinking, you know, now we're rounding up service now. Ah, gosh, passing out the and that was it. Yeah, that was the first time ever I got drunk. <laughs> First time I go into a fist fight. Mm. Have I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? Yes, now. Nah. Fist fight. One of my besties that time in secondary school. <laughs> oh, that fight, eh? if I remember, I still love. I remember I beat her, her lip. Oh, God, forgive me, please. So <laughs> I beat her lip, and then it wasn't funny. Oh. Yeah, that's my first time ever. Yeah, that I go a fist fight. First time sleepover. Sleep over, whatever slipped over. Oh, I can't remember. First wedding I attended. Ever attended. That's my brother's wedding. Yep. My first bond's wedding. And um what else? First time what? Tell me about the first time you were allowed to put on makeup. Yeah. First time. First time was in my adult food. <laughs> I didn't put on makeup until my wedding day, guys. You don't believe it. I used to just put lipstick, you know, back in the days, in my uni days, lipstick. I think that's the highest I've even done, say, lip gloss, lipstick. And then um, there's this one, that with the black liner here. That's like the, if you see me do makeup, that's the highest, that's this one. And then sometimes lip gloss make uh, lipstick. But then full makeup was my wedding deal. It was my wedding day, guys. Like, my husband is like, ah, I will you know do makeup now. So he was, it was more of him, yeah. And he's not, he's not like he likes makeup, yeah. But then, like, it's wedding now, so, so I had to do makeup, like, real. I should post my wedding video soon, guys. Yeah, so that you guys will see the makeup she tried. The makeup artist was, she, she, she was good, guys. Yeah. So it was my wedding day. All right. So that's it, guys. And it's a wrap on our first time talk bye bye <laughs> see you guys on another video